Ladies and gentlemen, now I have here a data file uh, about a, an amusement park, a theme park. And on various days, I kept track on how much candy I sold in euros and how much hot snacks I sold also expressed in euros. And I kept track of the following. Did I, yes or no, have a promotional event on that day to stimulate the sales of candy and hot snacks? Now, what I want to generate is um, a plot, a graph that shows how uh, candy sales vary over time. So, you know, if I have here all these dates, how do candy sales vary over time? Go to graph and then go to uh, time series plot. And let's first go with the simple one. And then as uh, we continue, I will also show the, the other one, the groups overlaid. But let's go for the simple one first. My Y variable, so what I want to actually show the difference in, is the candy sales expressed in euros. And for the time scale, well, I have timestamps. What are timestamps? Well, if you look at this variable here, day, you see here that the column here has this D attached to it. This D means that Minitab has recognized that I'm entering dates here. And it treats these dates as so-called timestamps. So what I need to do is for the timestamp, uh, select this variable, day, because Minitab already knows that, hey, yeah, okay, I understand this. These are dates. And uh, I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click again on OK. And this is it. This is basically my time series plot or line chart or line graph or whatever you want to call it. It's basically just this, this graph that shows the development of a variable over time. Now suppose that I want to see, again, candy sales, the development of candy sales over time, but I want to make a distinction here. I want to see two separate graphs, one for the days where I did have a promotional event and one for the days that I did not have a promotional event. So how to proceed go to graph again and then to oh oops i make a mistake go to graph and then to time series plot just like before select groups overlaid click on ok and for the y variable again we're going to select candy for grouping variable i'm going to select promotion because promotion is that variable that groups everything it shows me, okay, make two separate line graphs, one for the days that I had a promotion and one for the days that I did not have a promotion. Once you have that, um, click on time scale, time stamp, okay, the time stamp, as was explained in the previous video, is the day, click on OK, click on OK again. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen, so you now see again the development over time, Minitab already recognizes these as dates, and uh, the, the, the candy sales basically have now been split. The red square ones, these are the days where I did have a promotional event, and the blue line with the blue circles, these are the days where I did not have a promotional event. That's it. Thank you very much.